New on Curiosity Stream. She was a loving wife, a devoted mother. She also stole atomic secrets and gave them to the Soviets. Meet the woman whose deception kick-started the Cold War on the spy who stole the atom bomb. And... What if they catch you? Then I shall be shot. They're coming! Come back! Relive history's most death-defying escapes. It's impossible escapes. Civil War. Watch now on Curiosity Stream. Annual plans are $20, just $1.67 a month. Visit CuriosityStream.com. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. What's up? It's your boy, the Ted Smith. Thanks for listening to the Men's Room Daily Podcast. Want more? Check out the greatest podcast in all the land, the podcast. Be sure to subscribe and listen to a brand new episode every Tuesday night. Back to the conversation. This is the Men's Room with Miles and Thrill. 99.9 KISW. The game is big, dummy. Still have Ryan on the line playing for Team Not Sober. Ryan, you are on question number six. Question number six for you, Ryan, is what continent is the natural habitat of the ostrich? Hmm. The natural habitat. Is that Australia? Africa. Africa. Yeah, that's what they want you to believe. I think Australia is emus. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They are emus. What is the difference between an emu and an ostrich? Just the size? It's like a know. llama and an alpaca. I just know those are the two big birds on each one of those. Mm-hmm. What's the name of that one big mean have... looking the shoe bill something? The one that looks like Oh, it, oh yeah, it, I think you got the shoe bill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's also the cassowary, and they're just they just look angry all the time. But they are dangerous, or am I wrong? The cassowary? I think I think he just looks pissed, but he's fine. <laughs> okay. The shoe yeah. bill looks like a monster, but he's fine. The cassowary might actually be the one that'll screw you up. Oh, alright. One of them's mean. What's the biggest bird in North America? Let me uh ask my friend Google. I would say it's a like the condor vul- or, or a vulture, maybe. A California condor, wouldn't it be? I mean, as far as wingspan goes, but I also think largest, maybe a wild turkey, if you just let it keep growing, right? Okay. Those bitches get huge. California condor. It is California, California condor. condor. All right. He's California sober. <laughs> yeah, he's stoned, and he flew up here on the 5, then he hey got man. on the 405, <laughs> got off on Vienna. Hey, man, Brent's coming later. That's why they barely flapped their wings. <laughs> All right, Ryan, here is your question. Hypoxia refers to low oxygen levels in what part of the body? Is that the brain? Ah, uh, the lungs. Blood. Ow. Oh. I guess low oxygen levels in your lungs would mean you're dead. <laughs> or you're just holding your breath. <laughs> like, breathe, son. <laughs> All right, Ryan, your question. What is the second highest mountain on Earth? Ooh, second highest. Miles, I figured you'd know. Because uh, people are making a big point to try to summit this one as well. And apparently, my understanding uh, is that it's even a tough climb to Mount Everest. I'm going to guess Kilimanjaro. K2? K2. K2. Question number nine. What is the name of K2? Oh, I think it's just K2. Is it because just K2? It's K2? Yeah. Okay. I think the mountain range itself, and I just read this today. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but I believe the mountain range starts with the letter K. All right. So they just made it easy. I remember there was a movie about it. What was that? I remember that, too. I think it was called K2. Yeah. Hmm. Never mind. (laughs) All right there, Ryan. What team did John Madden win the Super Bowl with as a head coach? Oakland Raiders. There you go. Oh, you got in the Oakland Raiders. Very good. Very good. Yeah, would you just say Raiders? I would have just said Raiders. It's hard to tell if they were in Oakland or L.A. Did they? All right. So they definitely won in Oakland. Did they win a Super Bowl when they were in Los Angeles? No. Oh, no. Are you sure? No. Because they have, what, three Super Bowl titles? If they did, they would have stayed. Now, Oakland That Marcus is... Allen team wasn't in... I mean, they beat the Washington football team. Were they in Oakland or L.A.? Uh, maybe you're right. I, I feel like they might have one in know. L.A., maybe two in Oakland, none yet in Vegas, and <sighs> going to that first game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Game is Big Dummy, 206-421-ROCK. <laughs> Well, they, they beat the Eagles 
Right. I think they were still in Oakland when they beat yeah. the Eagles. They may have been in L.A. when they beat the uh, Washington. Okay. Hello, Carson. Welcome to the men's room. Hola. Hola. Carson, are you sober or not sober? I am stone cold sober on the way home from work. All right, Carson, welcome to the show. Welcome to Big Dummy. Okay, our men's room poll. You got to French kiss someone for 60 seconds. Will it be a parent, sibling, grandparent, or your pet? Pet. 100%. What kind of pet? Uh, I'm going to have to go with a cat. You're going to kiss a cat? Ah, I think that's danger, man. Might be, might be great. You just but, don't hey, know. Hey, man, enjoy that sandpaper tongue yeah, for 60 seconds. Yeah, you never know until you know. Mm-hmm. You might change your life, Carson. Exactly. Uh, by the way, someone here, speaking of the cassowary, that big-ass bird, it says, look, the cassowary will F you up. They have a big-ass talon that they stick in you just because. Stories of them killing people every year. Hmm. It's good yep. to keep in mind. They- I will take that death chance. <laughs> Just to see one. Just to see. In the wild. Yeah, they were in L.A. when they, in, uh, what was it, 83 Super Bowl when they beat uh, Washington. So it was a two in Oakland, one in L.A.? Correct. Okay. All right, Carson, here is your question. What is the nearest galaxy to our own Milky Way? Nearest galaxy to our own Milky Way? Yes. Oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Don't know. Oh, no. No, no, monster. Monster, stop. He just said he doesn't know. Just take a guess. Take just a guess. Up and down. No. Name another galaxy. Another galaxy? Yeah. I don't even know galaxy. Uh, it, could know be the, it could be the L.A. galaxy. I'm going to go the Milky Way. There we go. There we go. Just a guess. Andromeda? Andromeda. All right, Miles, can you name another galaxy? Nope. I'm pretty sure that after Andromeda, I'm not 100%, and I'm a space nerd, so there's the Milky Way, Andromeda, that's the closest galaxy next to us. After that, they start getting, like, number designations. <laughs> like NC-127. Like, they don't have a name you're going to remember. Mm-hmm. All right there, Carson, your question. What element makes up the majority of the air in Earth's atmosphere? Oxygen. Oxygen only accounts for about 20%, believe it or not. Hydrogen? Urban? Nope. Perfect. That is perfect, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. nitrogen. <laughs> Thank you. All right, true or false? Baby elephants suck their trunks for comfort, like human babies suck their thumb. <laughs> that is true. Suck the trunk. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> trunk sucker. Suck on this. Yeah, he's a real trunk sucker. <laughs> yeah. You think oh. other uh, elephants are like, dude, get your trunk out of your mouth. still be sucking his trunk, don't you think? Get your hands out of your pants, get your trunk out of your mouth. <laughs> Game is big dummy, 206 virtual. Big <laughs> dummy. <laughs> For about two or three years, a little boy, you got to tell him to keep your hands out of their pants. <laughs> and they just... Can you just not do it when other people are looking? And then they get smart enough to realize just go back in their own room, close the door. And put that's your hands right. That's how the game is played, man. It's all one big game. Get your hands out of your pants if I can see you. Put them back in your pants when I can. Hello, Sean. Welcome to the men's room. Hola. Hola. Sean, sober, not sober. I am sober, driving home from work. All right, Sean, welcome to the show. Okay, you got a French kiss for us, 60 seconds. A parent? Sibling, grandparent, or pet? Uh, a pet. And what do you got? I have a Catahoula dog. What does a Catahoula dog? Is it short hair, yeah. long hair, big, small, what? It, it is big. She's about 75 pounds. She's absolutely in love with me. Gives me the googly eyes every time I get home. All right. Well, you show her a little something, something today when you get there. That's cool. That's probably the first time it's ever happened in your life. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I do have a fiance. So. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, but does she yeah, still the, get googly? Right. I, mean, I mean, the like dog. Early on, sure. The dog's always excited to see you. can go out and get the mail. You're gone for 30 seconds. Come back. The dog's excited to it's see It's like you've been off to war. Right. Well, yeah. look, the old adage I'm, I'm, is... I'm a truck driver, so when I get home, I get googly eyes from my fiance and the dog. See, that's the secret. Oh, oh, have a job or you're gone for dude. a few days. That's why you guys are all happy. Because mm-hmm. you're gone. Hey, man, it, it, don't mess with it. I know. Do not mess with it. All right, here is your question, Sean. What is the only letter that has never appeared on the periodic table? As a hint, it's worth eight points in Scrabble. Y or Z, none of those. Q? That's a very solid guess. J Q is not currently used. 
but Q had been used in the past until they came up with the new name for an element they'd already discovered. But J is the correct answer. Okay. How'd you know it? J. You said eight points. I just say. Swear to God. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. You know your Scrabble. I had to look that up. Like, how many points is J worth in Scrabble? Uh, you know, like, jungle's always a good word, because G has a pretty good point value. That's four. All right. Damn. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a terrible hint. <laughs> I know you did, Ted. Like, this hint is not for Ted. Jungle's real good. <laughs> what did you buy today? You bought, what, like, a scratch-off ticket or something? Uh, no, I, honestly, I had, I had bought it a while ago and just never scratched it. And it was a... Cross, knowing what you think of Scrabble and crossword puzzles, I could not believe that you said, man, I bought one of these crossword puzzle scratch dogs. I'm just thinking, like, why? <laughs> I, the only thing I can figure is I had $2 left in the, all right, all right. In the oh, machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, all right, there's a $2 one. But yeah, it's just been sitting there underneath. <laughs> right. So I, I was like, Miles, help me out. <laughs> all right. Here's your question. Multiple choice. Stevie Wonder, Jay-Z, or Hootie and the Blowfish? Who played at the 2004 wedding of Tiger Woods and Ellen Nordgren? <laughs> Ooh. Stevie Wonder, Jay-Z, or Hootie and the Bluefish? I have no clue, so I'm going with Hootie. Man, aircraft! You're 100% correct there. Yeah, man. Who Think would about Tiger Woods. That would Woods. be an awesome wedding if Hootie played your wedding, right? You know I'm in. Yeah. Uh, to me... Knowing what I know of Tiger Woods, oh, be with you. is the band. Yeah. It would not be Jay Z. Plus, Darius Rucker Martin. is a yeah. massive yeah. golfer. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Did yeah. you see? Uh, finally, so remember Darius Rucker when he went country, he did a cover of Wagon Wheel. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was uh, hugely popular. Then there's a band, Old Crow Medicine Show. That I, that's how I knew this song. They finally did a duet. Oh, they did it together. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Game is big dummy two zero six four two one rock. Hello, Chrissy. Welcome to the men's room. Hey, Blackjack and Hooker's bitches. Oh, yeah. Blackjack and Hooker's Chrissy. Chrissy, are you sober or not sober? Uh, well, I'm sober. I just got back from taking my daughter to the ER, so. Is she yeah. okay? Uh, she's fine. She's got, like, some crazy upper respiratory infection, so I thought it was COVID, so I was freaking out. Sure. But, but yeah, you actually, she's fine. how long did you have to wait to get to the ER? Or was it pretty immediate? Two and a half hours. Because uh, I was watching the news last night. It's the only reason I asked. And they're just saying locally anyway. Uh, during the pandemic, a bunch of people got pets. But right now, there's a, a lack of veterinarians and an overwhelming number of people making appointments. And they're just saying people that needed an emergency were waiting at one place up to six to eight hours. Chrissy, yeah, they, have a, weird. they have a oh, fish, tank, fish tank in there? Do I have a fish tank? No, did the ER have a fish tank? Oh, no, they didn't. Okay. Typically, they'll put one in there to calm people down. Mm -hmm. Honestly. No, yeah, yeah, no my daughter just slept on me the whole time. Okay. She's been pretty lethargic all week, so. But all she's right. fine. She's sleeping right now. Chrissy, who are you going to French kiss for 60 seconds? Parent, sibling, grandparent, or your pet? Oh, the dog all day, man. Dog all, all day. day. All day. Just long. 60 Everybody seconds. Else is gross. <laughs> uh, well, think about that statement for a minute. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the idea of kissing you is disgusting. I'm kissing my dog who licks his own butt. That's that yeah, is the way I it's mean, going. Yeah, but I mean, wouldn't you lick your own butt if you could? On occasion. On occasion. Yeah, not sure. See, there you go. Maybe. <laughs> it depends what I ate or it depends how bad it's at you. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's true. If I could, I might give it a try once. <laughs> I can't imagine I I'd do it twice. Yeah. But. It depends on how good you wiped, I guess. Yes, that would go a long way. A lot of factors. <laughs> I am my own wet wipe. Mm. <laughs> All right, Chrissy, here's your question. Male goats will urinate on what part of their own body to attract females for mating? Uh, their legs. Their head. Their yeah. head? Ew. They pee on their own face. Mm -hmm. And now, look, don't say ew. That means female goats are into some freaky, deaky Wait, stuff. Wait, you were just talking about bending over and then been doing a pretzel maneuver. Now you have a problem with that? <laughs> She'll lick her own butt, but a goat can't pee on his own face. Come on. Hey, man, dogs like saliva. Like, it cleans things, though. Theirs does, yes. All right, speaking of dogs, what is Dog the Bounty Hunter's real name? Oh, shoot. I don't know. Dwayne? It is Dwayne. It is. Dwayne. With a D. Well, what's wrong with even the full name we need? Well, yeah, well, his yeah. last name. Oh, his full name? Yeah. Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> Dwayne Chapman. <laughs> Dwayne Chapman, yeah. I have no clue. He gets a pass to save the inbox. 
That's what he said. Yeah, that's I what know, he I said. That. I was like, how about that? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, they, you I, get a, you get I would a, like to prove you, him wrong. You get a card for your wallet, I guess, or something. I would I'm like to tell sure. <laughs> No, it's not it's how like it a works. vaccination card. <laughs> you can say it, and I'm going to smash you in the face. I mean, that's how it works. That's a guarantee. If you say it, my assumption is you want me to beat your ass, and then I will. I still can't believe he went out. He's and dumb like, enough no, to say I got a pass for it. Like, yeah. Why are you saying they that? They even said, from who? What office do you go to to get that pass? Oh, to go to the DMV. Yeah, I was just like, dude. He's going to sit in line for like eight hours to get that pass? I want to meet him and beat the piss out of him at the golf club. <laughs> Question number four, Chrissy. All right, Chrissy. And cut his mullet off. Not just beat him. All right, here's your question. What, Five iron. What major, to everything, everything in the golf bag. What major tourist city's name translates to the Meadows? Mike is excited about this. He sent me this goddamn question yesterday. Can we get a hint as far as... Say that again, major it, tour? It's a major tour city, and its name translates to the Meadows. Is it a United States city? It is in the United States. Okay. It is west of the Mississippi. The Meadows. A major tour city that translates to the Meadows. The Meadows. Uh, it's primarily function is to be a tourist city. It is. Although, I would argue, if you can find a meadow in the city, let me know. Yeah, right. Mm, that's it. <laughs> Um, San Diego? Based on what you said at the beginning of the call, I think you would have got this. It's probably Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Oh, Black Jack shoot. and what else? I was going to say La Mesa. I don't know. Again. Major tourist Can you city. find, <laughs> a, can you find a meadow in Las right. Vegas? Yeah, I, I bet there's one in like San the Diego either. I mean, well, wait, yeah. no, hold on. Is it New Raiders Stadium? Is that grass or is that turf? I honestly don't know. Uh, it's grass. They wheel it in like they do in Arizona. So that's the biggest, that's the biggest meadow. Yeah, the biggest meadow is in the state. Yeah. All right, your question. What was the first cable series to win an Emmy for Best Drama? Meaning it's not about lawyers, doctors, or police officers. Um, it was a huge show. Oh, it was a show. Not yes, a TV series. show. Uh, first cable series to win Emmy for Best Drama. Uh, Dateline? No, think like HBO. No, right, because it was on ca- oh. The Sopranos. Sopranos, Sopranos yeah. yeah. And that's when network TV went, oh, oh. Yeah. We keep making the same show over and over. This is what happens when somebody comes to something new. Question number six. Question number six for you. What's the name of the surgeon on ER that was played by Noah Wiley that shares his name with the warlord of Mars created by Edgar Rice Burroughs? It was also the name of a 2012 movie that bombed at the box office. Oh, no. It was a big Disney flick. They poured a lot of money in advertising, and the show went nowhere. Or the movie went absolutely oh. nowhere. Man. I feel like an idiot. Well, that's not the easiest question in the world. It's really not. <laughs> it's so easy when you're not playing. I have no idea. Um... Well, we do the same thing with sports. I can watch a football game tell you how they should have run that play. I can't <laughs> play it. Yeah, everything's right. easier when you're not doing it. Oh, man. Um, uh, I don't know. Captain America. John Carter. Oh. John Carter. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Is that Samuel L. Jackson? <laughs> no. <laughs> if you saw, just type in uh, John Carter, the movie, just right. look at their art, and you'll see why I'm giggling. All right, here's your question. What movie's protagonist is named Lightning McQueen? Yeah. Oh, Cars. <laughs> Very good. He kind of right. looks like Samuel L. Jackson. Chrissy, hope, you're, uh, hope your daughter gets better. <laughs> is there a, is he, Samuel L. Jackson's in a movie with the name Carter in it, right? I, I think you're right. It wasn't but, Ed Carter. That was John Travolta. Agent right? Carter. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but you're right. John Carter, it's not, he looks nothing like Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> yeah, just like, it's time to take a look. Oh, <laughs> Shredded. More of Big Dummy coming up. 206-421-ROCK. 99 boy. New on Curiosity Stream. She was a loving wife, a devoted mother. She also stole atomic secrets and gave them to the Soviets. Meet the woman whose deception kick-started the Cold War on the spy who stole the atom bomb. And... What if they catch you? Then I shall be shot. They're coming! Come back! Relive history's most death-defying escapes. It's Impossible Escapes, Civil War. Watch now on Curiosity Stream. Annual plans are $20, just $1.67 a month. Visit CuriosityStream.com. Bro! 
Gnarly. What's up, Taylor? Dude, that nerd in his electric hybrid totally blew the light while texting his yuppie friends. That's so bogus, bro. Are you hurt? Yeah, like I can't move my hips, bro. I think I broke my pelvis, man. Dude, no way! Way! Taylor, you need to drop a dime and talk with the lawyers at the Advocates Law Firm. No way, I can't afford that, bro. Your crotch is broken, man, and they don't earn any money unless they win your case. Dude, no way. You get injured, the Advocates get results. Contact me today at AdvocatesLaw.com. 5X480, Dayton B100 V-Belt, one of the many parts Granger carries. It's also the item that helped Rob carry the day. The job was on hold, deadline fast approaching, but a quick search on Granger.com and Rob found his part. And with same day pickup at his local branch, he and his crew got the job done safely and on time. Get supplies and solutions for every industry with real time product availability. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Cleaning up poop is one of the worst chores we face as parents. A leaky diaper can ruin your day. Whether you now need to clean the whole crib or you've ruined yet another favorite shirt. At Hello Bello, we know your pain. Which is why our affordable diapers help prevent leaks day and night. They're sleek and thin and come in several adorable designs. To save yourself from future blowouts, visit HelloBello.com and use code HELLO30 for 30% off your first bundle of diapers. That's HelloBello.com. Code HELLO30 for 30% off. Nine KISW. The men's room is in progress. Game is big dummy two zero six four two one. Rock Steve, who is our next contestant, ready to play the big game. Hello, Ricky. Welcome hey, to the men's room. Big dummy. It's an horse. Oh, it's an horse. Ricky, are you sober? Or not sober. I am actually sober. All right, Ricky. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Ricky, <laughs> sounds shocked by that. <laughs> you said that to a wife or two before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ricky, uh, I've got a French kiss one for 60 seconds. Parent, sibling, grandparent, or pet? Where are you going? I'm I'm going for the pet. What kind of pet yeah. do you have? Uh, uh, Ten-year-old lab. Oh, right. oh, nice. Still I... alive and kicking, huh? Yeah. yeah. She, oh, yeah, she's alive and kicking, real healthy. She's a good dog. Good dog's alive and kissing. Yeah. All right there, Ricky. Here is your question. On what island was Napoleon exiled in 1814? <laughs> Island. An island. Hmm. It almost Ireland? sounds like a part of your body. Yeah. The Ireland? Oh, Ireland, you said. No. Yeah. It yeah. sounds like part of your body. Is it, 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 is it, it's a European island? Yes. So Mediterranean. Did they send him to Crete? No. Elba. 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 Oh, I would never got that. Yeah, is like there an it. Elba, Washington? Elma. Elba. Elba. <laughs> They sent him to Elma. <laughs> no! Not Elma! <laughs> they made him work at the Yakima Walmart. No, no. <laughs> oh, poor Elma. <laughs> All right, Ricky, question number two for you. Starting with George Washington and including our current president, how many presidents has the U.S. had? 49. 46? 46. I knew it was 40 something. Well, eventually, eventually you'll be right. <laughs> I feel like that one's easier because Trump had a lot of just 45 stuff. Yeah, 45s, right? Yeah. All right. Who is the only head coach to win a Super Bowl title with the Chicago Bears? Oh, I can't remember his name. Come on. He's famous. One of the most famous. Yeah, Jim McMahon, a quarterback. William Refrigerator Perry, a defensive tackle, fullback. Like Singletary's controlling the middle on defense. And being crazy and weird. Yeah, but Sweetness I, I, in the back. Willie field. Gold? What was the receiver's name? He was on that team. Yeah. Uh, Richard Dent. He liked to wear sweater vests, sunglasses, and had a badass mustache. The Bears. Mike Ditka. Yeah. Oh, Ditka. Is, uh, <laughs> are the Bears just mini? Or is Ditka Mini? <laughs> Are your question, what were the two sides in World War II known as? Hello, Ricky. Uh-oh. Oh, he went lose Ricky. No. Oh, well, that explains why he was so quiet. Okay. Uh, allied Axis. You got it. Okay, Game is Big Dummy, 206 421 Rock. Hello, Brandon. Dummy. Welcome to the men's room. Boo, bitches. Boo. Boo. Brandon, sober, not sober? Ah, uh, not sober. 
All right, Brandon, welcome to the show. Welcome to Big Dummy. All right, Thank you got a you. French uh, kiss one for 60 seconds. Will it be a parent, a sibling, a grandparent, or a pet? I'm uh, going to have to go with a pet. Another vote for the pet? What kind of pet do you have? I have a cat, actually. No, boy, I hope it's a hairless one. Good luck on that yeah. one, Brandon. <laughs> That's a Maine Coon. That's a, I don't, oh, oh Jesus. Really? How big is that bad boy? It's just a kid right now, so he's not fully grown yet. How is big it? do they suspect it might get? Oh, shoot. I, I've seen some that are like 25 pounds. I was going to say, uh, is it a tuxedo? No, he's just uh, like calico colored. He's not that fancy, Miles. Yeah, I was going right, to say, okay. it's uh, just, it's, uh, this is well, casual. Well, Senior Larry was a tuxedo cat. Really? Uh, but he was also a Maine Coon cat. I was say, the way you talk about him, I would call him the tank top cat. Oh, my God. That cat, man. That was a great cat. He was huge. Oh, they're really called Maine Coons because they're from Maine? I guess. I don't know. That's crazy. <laughs> that, I believe so. Yeah, specifically native to the United States of Maine. Really? Mm-hmm. I did not know that. Huh. I wonder who domesticated that cat first. Like, they had to do that on a dare. I'm telling you, man, Larry was huge. I look at him sometimes like, Jesus, man, you are a big cat. Oh, give him a complex. Why he was always attacking you. He, no, so Larry, 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 Larry was good. Called him fat. No, Larry was, he was just big, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Big bone. Yeah. He was big. He's not stupid. Yeah. All right, Brandon, your question. What is the most common color used on a country's flag? Jesus. Uh, red. That'd be my guess. We'll say blue. Blue. Oh, all right. While we're talking about flags, what color are the stars on China's flag? Uh, is that yellow? Mm-hmm. It is. Yellow. Very All right, good. Mike, real quick. Which marshmallow in Lucky Charms is yellow? Oh, the stars, I suppose, have a little yellowness to them. I honestly yellow don't know. Yellow moons, isn't it? Is it yellow moons? Is... No, it's blue moons. Blue moon. Heart stars, horseshoes, <laughs> clovers. I know. only have Pots of gold. The oh, pots that's right. They had the pots of gold, the pots so they're yellow. Rock. All right, yeah. there we go. Game is Big Dummy, 206-421-ROCK. Big Dummy! Hello, Stoner Jen. Welcome to the men's room. Hola, big Hola. Jen, welcome to the program at Big Dummy. All right, our men's room poll, Jen. You get a French kiss for 60 seconds, a parent, a sibling, a grandparent, or a pet? I want a pet. And what do you possess? <laughs> so I have two pit bull mixes, but I'm going with the girl dog. Because my boy dog is a little grumpy. So. Okay. Well, that's why you don't want to kiss a grumpy bulldog. They hate French <laughs> kissing. Yeah. She kisses all the time anyway, so... I'm feeling like kissing a bulldog would be a little, little what more if moist. A, what if it's a French bulldog? Like. Oh, we, we. No, it's a pit bull. Oh, no. pit bull. Oh, pit bull. Pit okay, bull. okay. Yeah. All right, Jen, multiple choice question for you. What country is known by its inhabitants as Sweamy? Is it Vietnam, Laos, Senegal, or Finland? S U O M I, Sweamy. Um, Laos? Any guesses? Finland. It is, in fact, Finland. Hmm. That would be the last one I would guess. <laughs> All right, your question. What female singer is discussed at the beginning of the movie Reservoir Dogs? <laughs> um, um, I don't know if I've seen this movie, too. Uh, you would know if you saw it. Yeah. As an older movie, right? Oh, thank you. Ish. Like early 90s. Well, that's kind of old. I mean, not really, but... <laughs> not too late. You yeah, insulted yeah. us. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> so think of a, a massive female singer from that rough um, era. Whitney Houston. Cher Madonna? Madonna. 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 Remember, Madonna. it's not about her first time. It's about the first time she gets a... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but that's oh. why it's like a virgin. See, they explained it in great detail. I think that's Mr. Pink that goes off on that one. I believe that it is. <laughs> I've never seen the movie. <laughs> All right, your question. What actor played Will on the TV show Will and Grace? Hmm. Oh, man. Um, uh, Anybody like that quirky guy? The tall, like, skinny guy? No, 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 no. No? No, the... 
You're thinking no, Jack. I didn't really no. watch that. You're thinking no. Sean Hayes. It's the other guy. Uh, um, I don't know. Richard Gere. <laughs> Jen, what happened to your phone? It sounds like crap today. Maybe I she's just at home. My Bluetooth died. Sorry. Does it really sound bad? Yeah, yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. Okay, so sorry. By the way, the answer is Eric McCormack. Eric McCormack. All right, Jen, what desert covers part of Arizona, part of California, and northwestern Mexico? This is just Uh, south of the Mojave. I don't know. The Gobi Desert, I believe, is in China. All right. Mike's just throwing out desert names at me now. In fact, uh, there is a state in Mexico that basically shares the name. Yeah. And it's the hottest desert in Mexico. And you can't tell that I just read all of this hours ago. <laughs> he has a lot of info. I was like, damn. Oh, I'll damn. forget about tomorrow, but. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to, is it where, uh, is it where, like, they started all the weed stuff? I'm not sure. I want to say Yuma is located in this desert. Uh, um, no, I can't think of any desert names. Um, I don't know. No, have I don't know. <laughs> what would you say? It's the Baja. Sonoran Desert. Oh, I was gonna guess Baja. Not bad. Yeah, the Sonoran Desert. All right, question number five, Jen. Question number five for you. This is multiple choice. Which cable channel was originally called the Green Channel? <laughs> The Stoner Gin Network? No, okay, so it was originally called the Green Channel. <laughs> HBO, C SPAN, Showtime, or the Nature Channel? Um, the Nature Channel? That's why I put it in there, because that would make sense. <laughs> Showtime? <laughs> HBO. Believe it HBO, or not. Huh? It was originally called the Green Channel. Oh, because you had to pay extra to get it. <laughs> That's probably it. <laughs> the first premium channel, right? Dallas. All right, Jen, let's go back and way back again. What female group had a hit in 1996 with the song Wannabe? Oh, Spice Girls. Oh, oh. Too easy. Wow. <laughs> That's not well, so long ago. Reservoir right. Dogs a billion uh-huh. years ago. Spice Girls fresh and new. Game is Big Dummy, 206-421-ROCK. <laughs> Hello, Josh. Welcome to the men's room. Hola. 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 Josh, you on Team Sober, Team Not Sober? Unfortunately, team sober. That's all right, Josh. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Big Debbie. Okay, our men's room poll, Josh. You got a French kiss for 60 seconds, a parent, a sibling, a grandparent, or a pet? Gotta go with the pet. All right. What kind of pet do you have? Three cats and a lizard. Which Ooh, one are you kissing? Kiss the lizard. Uh, well, the lizard's too small, so probably one of the cats. Three cats and a lizard. That's a weird combination, dude. Oh, no. I was saying kiss the lizard. That's what I usually shout out to people. Hey! Well, then I'd get salmonella. That does... Wow. Sure. But it does sound like a turn. Kiss the lizard. Hey. Hey, girl. You ever kiss a lizard? All right. Here's your question. The infamous Hollywood sign sits atop what mountain range? Mountain range? Yep. Uh, I don't know. I Let's go with... I guess... I don't even know if this is a mountain range. Salinas? Is it Hollywood Hills? Santa Monica Mountains. Oh. I think that is what they call You're right. That is the yeah, Hollywood Yeah, they call Hills. them the Hollywood yeah. Hills, right? Santa Monica Mountains. I thought the Hollywood Hills when I make all that cash. <laughs> okay. Hence, they don't call me that. All right, here's your question. What was Ward Cleaver's occupation on the TV show Leave it to Beaver? Was he an accountant, an architect, a lawyer, or a doctor? Um, a little before my time, but let's go with lawyer. It was a lot before your time, dog. Doctor? He was an accountant. Oh, he was an accountant. Mm. An accountant. All right, since you did so well with that one, what was Mike Brady's occupation on the TV show The Brady Bunch? Accountant, architect, lawyer, or doctor? Oh, I know. Doctor. Mr. No, Mr. Brady was an architect. Architect. Oh, yeah. Architect. Come on, get with it, Miles. It's a strange house to live in if you're an architect. Split level, trying, that's the house you picked, huh? Split level, right? yeah. Let's try something new. Okay. All right, Josh, your question. What is the opening of a camera lens which controls the amount of light? The, 
uh, aperture. Bam. Yeah, look at that big brain on John. Game is Big Dummy, 206 421 Rock. Do we have time for another contestant here? Hey, oh, hey, oh. Hey. Hello, Jesse. Welcome to the men's room. What's up, fellas? Oh, no. Ah. Jesse, are you sober or not sober? Painfully sober. All right, Jesse. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Big Dummy. French kiss Thank one you. for 60 seconds. Parent, sibling, grandparent, or pet. Where are you going? Dog. Dog. <laughs> what kind of dog you got? Uh, he's an Australian cattle dog. It's like a blue healer looking kind of dog. Yeah, basically. Okay. Kind of more or less what I've got as well. Is your dog hyper as hell? Oh, don't you know it. Yeah, I do know it. I just wanted to make sure it's not just my dog. Oh, I'm... no. He takes like a five-minute power nap, and then he's ready for another couple <laughs> yeah, hours. It is amazing. My dog, I don't know what it was last night in particular. Usually, she calms down at some point. Last night, it's one of those things. I'm trying to watch TV. I'm trying to ignore her. She is sitting probably two inches away from my face, staring me down. And this is like for 20 minutes. I can feel her breath on me. And as soon as I finally gave in and just looked at her, she's all over me. I, just, I think me and you might have the same dog. It might, you, we must rent it to each other. I'm like, I just want to finish watching my show. Like, I know what's going to happen. She is not going to move. In my mind, she didn't even blink. She is right freaking there. Finally, goes to the commercial at the end of the show. I just glanced at her. It, that's all she wrote. What did she do then? Oh, she jumps on and she's like, and she's on her belly, all this stuff. Like, oh my God, man. Just chill out. All right, here's your question. Which river, named after another state in New England, separates New Hampshire from Vermont? You know, the only river I know of back east, I'm just going to go with the Mississippi River. <laughs> That's not even quite back another east. state. Yeah, named after another state in New England. I did not know this before today. I'll say the Massachusetts River. Mm -mm. The Rhode Island River? Nope. The Delaware? Nope. No, nah, I know the Delaware. The Maine River? No. Uh, Connecticut River? Connecticut River. Have you even heard of the Connecticut River? No. no. Me neither, man. Not a chance. But now we all know. All there's right. A Connecticut? What's that? There's a Connecticut? <laughs> yes, there's a Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Or if you go to Florida, it's known as Connecticut's. Plural. All right. On what continent is over 90% of the world's fresh water supply? What continent? What continent? I had to get uh, my I directions know. right. My, my God, but he points it. I'm like, what? Okay, yeah. I thought you are pointing about being incontinent. Got <laughs> uh, the most fresh water? Yeah. 90% of the world's fresh water supply. Don't overthink. It's the biggest desert uh, on planet Earth. That's the irony. It has 90% of the world's fresh water. It's also the largest desert. But keep in mind, desert is simply defined. You get, oh, God, what is it like? Less rainfall. Less rain, uh, like less than 10 inches of rainfall a year. It might be lower than that. So it doesn't really uh, rain, though. Antarctica. There you go. You got it, man. One more. Let's one do one more contestant in Big Dummy. 206 421 Rock. Hello, Steven. Welcome to the men's room. Liquor and whores! Liquor and whores! Steven, are you sober or not sober? I am sadly sober, driving home from work. No problem. All right, brother. all right. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Big Dummy. You are officially the last contestant of the day. All right, French kiss one for 60 seconds there. Steven, will it be a parent, sibling, grandparent, or a pet? Well, can you repeat that question? Yeah, you got a French kiss one of these for 60 seconds. A parent, a sibling, a grandparent, or a pet? Oh, I'm going with my dog. Okay. What's your dog's name? Her name is Junebug. Junebug. Hmm. Stick stick your tongue in Junebug's mouth. Sounds like she'd be a good kisser. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's <laughs> only thirteen. She learned it from her she dad. Junebug. <laughs> it's a great day for pets. Yeah. They're all like ah, yeah, no. All right, here you go. Mold we got her. Oh. oh, go ahead. Oh, I said when we rescued her, her our original name was Juno, but I'm like, who puts no in a dog's name? Yeah, <laughs> so Juno. We just changed it to Junebug. There's thinking. All right, multiple choice question for you. What actor or actress has won the most Oscars? Meryl Streep, Jack Nicholson, Gerard Depardieu, or Katherine Hepburn? I'm going to go with Meryl Streep. Always a safe guess, but I'll no. Go Catherine Hepburn. Catherine Hepburn. So Meryl Streep, is, oh. she's been nominated 8,000 times. She's won three. Catherine Hepburn has four. You old fool. I know. <laughs> they just want to hear her give a speech. I just want to thank everybody. For oh, this amazing award. 
You'll never guess why my voice is always doing this. Let's just say I am sexually satisfied. Or giving the satisfaction with that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm always orgasming. I can't control it. Why don't you uh, head over here and kiss the lizard? <laughs> I'm a well, lizard I'm kisser. Here. <laughs> All right, here's your question. What is the name of the villain from the movie Mulan? I had no idea. Of course you know, Mike. Of course you do. I, I, is it a dragon or something? Is it a dragon? It's a bad guy? No, I, I think know. it's just like I some a warlord or some dude like that. He's, the, he's the leader of the Huns. But it's not Attila. Attila. Oh, <laughs> nope. It'd be Sean Yu. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell my daughter I didn't get that question right. She's going to be disappointed. <laughs> There's nothing more fun than disappointing your children. I was going to say, man, don't, yeah, don't right yeah, yeah. Let it Let it be something worth <laughs> disappointing. Or she'd say, Dad, why would you know that? Yeah, like, she might be disappointed that you do know, right? All right. Yeah. <laughs> According to Paul Simon, how many ways are there to leave your lover? <sighs> wow. Get on the bus, Gus. Um, make a new plan, Stan. No need to be coy, Roy. Just set yourself free. Hop on the bus, Gus. What song is it? Ain't gotta discuss much. Well, that's the name of the song. That's the name of the song is... The answer to the question, right. basically. Mm -hmm. so, uh, all I'm thinking is uh, Sledgehammer and all that. That's all I can think of. So I don't, I don't have a clue. Sledgehammer is Peter Gabriel. Oh, 30. oh yeah, that's all, that's all I'm thinking of is Peter Gabriel songs. You went 30? No, hey... <laughs> Yeah, Stephen, good news. There are 50 ways to leave your lover. Huh. He doesn't cover them all in the song, but, you know. Again, I'm a Garfunkel guy. As long as your name rhymes with something he can say, you have a way to leave your I'm lover. I'm a notes guy. Yeah, exactly. All right, Stephen, the question, what plant is opium derived from? Oh, it's uh, the poppy. If you want to disappoint yeah. your daughter, let her know yeah. you know where opium yeah. comes yeah. from. Yeah. Very good. And I have been in the poppy fields of Afghanistan. Oh, no. oh lucky Military you. Military man. Uh -huh. Very good. Head chef on the way. Ted's Meat and Potatoes has uh, fast food secrets. You are listening to the men's room. New on Curiosity Stream. She was a loving wife, a devoted mother. She also stole atomic secrets and gave them to the Soviets. Meet the woman whose deception kick-started the Cold War on the spy who stole the atom bomb. And... What if they catch you? Then I shall be shot. They're coming! Come back! Relive history's most death-defying escapes. It's Impossible Escapes, Civil War. Watch now on Curiosity Stream. Annual plans are $20, just $1.67 a month. Visit CuriosityStream.com. $20 million. $19 million. $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. In the wee hours of the night, when everyone else is fast asleep, you're the one on third shift burning the midnight oil when a part fails and everything comes to a grinding halt regardless of what the clock on the wall says you leap into action granger is with you and all the ones who get it done with 24 7 customer support by phone or click to chat call click or just stop by granger for the ones who get it done